Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, <laughs> I've been on YouTube for six, six, six <coughs> yesterday for doing this since I was 14 years old. I'm almost 21. Like, I have been on YouTube a long ass time. And I know I say that all of the time, but like, a long ass time. Like, I have seen people come and go. I've seen people rise and motherfuck fall. So, I'm just kind of here like... <coughs> I'm still here. Still doing my thing. Whatever that is. Exactly. I'm not entirely sure. But it's just funny, I was thinking about this for the last few days, because I've been like... Like, six is like a big kid. That's like a child that can lie. A child that could, you know, go to school. They can have a conversation with me. They can argue. Can like... It's like a little person. It's not even like a kid, it's like a little person. Like quite a big little person. It's kind of like... It's a lot to like... I don't know, because I feel like for me YouTube has been such a constant the last six years of my life because I've always been someone who's been like oh I have a phase of this and I have a phase of that and I have a phase of this but like YouTube has never ended and I've said this before it's like the one phase I just never like ended because I think I don't know YouTube is so adaptable and video making is so adaptable to whatever I want to do it's just been great and like especially this last like the last year it's been for my YouTube manic like I gained I went from like four and a bit of thousand subscribers to like twenty thousand quite shockingly quickly, which now is like kind of frustrating because it's like, hmm, the YouTube algorithm is in charge. It's not even barely up to me. It's like if a YouTube algorithm one day chooses to favour me over another, like, which is a really frustrating feeling. Uh, I should talk about like I'm gonna do an assumptions about me videos, so I'll talk about more about that in that. Six years is a long time. Because especially, it's just been so funny seeing my channel evolve, like, I started making... I don't even know what my first videos were, to be honest. Uh, but, like, the biggest change that I made was when I, like, changed my font, and, like, my thumbnail design, and then it was, like, all of it was, like, pink, pretty... Let's just have a little <laughs> look through my YouTube history. And, of course, as per, I will link all of these previous videos I've done before, and, of course, a couple of my unlisted ones, because... I feel like you deserve to see them, to understand how far I and this channel have come, because my god. <laughs> it's funny as well, like I have six years experience before I've even, well I've got a job now, but like before I even had a proper job, you know, it's like, crazy. Like it's, it, I just can't get over it, it's like, very soon it will, very soon, four years, in four years I will have been on YouTube for a decade, like, that is a lot of my life. Like my entire teen years are basically on the internet, which is quite insane. And like, don't get me wrong, like I'm happy about it. Um, there are videos that I will never ever watch again that I have made because I just don't want to. Let's go, let's see how far back in my videos I can actually get. There's 355 of them, 56, if you're wondering. You know, you can watch a video of mine every single day for a year. Part of me just doesn't. I'm still scrolling, by the way. Just I'm still I'm still going. That's what we'd like. Is that it? Oh yes, but is it? Oh god. So my first videos are called Hello YouTube, and the next one is called Derping Along. I believe what happened with the in the Derping Along vid. I was doing engineering, and I it's like this acrylic, and you have to pop out the acrylic once you like laser cut a shape into it. And I went like that to like pop it out, and then I actually scraped a massive chunk of my thumb there and there off, and it was like bleeding everywhere because obviously the like, plastic was really sharp, and I went and it went everywhere. So that was really an experience. It's so weird, you didn't even know what YouTube really was, even six years ago. Hello YouTube, derping along, awkward hairdresser experiences, annoying things kids do, ha delicious and forever alone day. I think that was my combination of pancake day and valentine's day. Lovely. Back with the old school memes, my god. <laughs> Derp. Yeah. I literally had no idea what I was even doing. I love this. My first video that I've unprivated was my 15th birthday. So you can actually only go back to like five years, well actually almost six, of my YouTube life. 
Um, and that has a thousand views. So clearly you guys have been stalking me back as far as possible. So I've linked my first ever actual video down below. If you really want to go see that. I started out doing sketches. They went you know, quite well for me and I vlogged. I started vlogging pretty quickly. Five vlogs from 2013. It's so weird. I don't know what I thought YouTube was. I kind of just, I saw Dan Howell making videos. I saw Charlie is so cool like making videos and like, I was like, oh, I can do this. I can definitely do this. And she did. Oh, look, there was a videos with this guy I dated like, yeah, five years ago. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm gonna scroll past. You know, we were doing challenges. Georgia and I were like in such competition. It was just our life and like we started doing we were doing challenges and like 50 facts about me and a video where I got a penny board and I've literally never used it. It's like I'll fess up. I've literally never used that fucking penny board. Then I like changed my channel to be like, oh pink vibes. But then I did that for such a long time. I did that for a really, really long time. The one thing with YouTube though is essentially you have, it's like consistency. YouTube, like the algorithm favors you like the more consistent you are. That's why when I was doing three vids a week, my channel wasn't a good place because the algorithm was like, people are watching you? Okay, well, we'll, gi we'll give more people the chance to watch you. And actually, uh, most of you don't know, but the YouTube like creator side of it has changed quite recently. So we're getting so much more data than we used to, which is like, Ha! Ah, intense. So now we have this thing of like, we can see how many unique views we've got, as in like how many just like people have seen our videos. So you know, if you are a unique individual who is not subscribed to my channel, we now get that statistics as well of like, percentages of people who are subscribed versus aren't. So if you're new, even joining in year six, I'll have a best of playlist, I'll stick down below as well. I don't know, just about evolution here. Join, join, join the show, join the party, join, join the club. Fish tank. I still not, I don't have a, a word for it. Do you want me to join the fucking fish tank? Jesus Christ, Emma. I feel like I really was trying very hard to see what people around me were doing, but obviously I was a very, very small YouTuber. I had like a few hundred subscribers at this point, And like, I was really trying to see what bigger people were doing and that just wasn't gonna work for my channel. And it's really funny in like how it's been an identity, like not crisis obviously, but like how it's reflected on my identity and like how I've tried to mold my identity through YouTube and YouTube through my identity and that kind of thing and how it's been very self reflexive and it's like, what do I want to see of myself? What do I want other people to see of me? It's been, having a YouTube channel is mother effing weird guys. Like it's odd. And oh, so my first like, my first vlog series was like kind of like, you know, this precursor to the weekly, let's say. That this was four years ago. This is five years ago. <laughs> I can't get over that. It's like, oh yeah, a video from five years ago. But yeah, it was like this little series that I did when I was in the Provence for like a good two months on like um, a summer camp. And like, I think the vlogged the whole thing and I was loving it and a GoPro, it was so exciting. I just did not understand how thumbnails work though. She did not understand. I got so attached to my style that I was like, I don't want to, it's like, that's my branding. Like it was working, but like it wasn't working. I mean, back in those days, I did have a few videos do really well for me. Mainly like when girls have crushes and why girls take so long to get ready, which I much later discovered was the reason mine had done so well was because Superwoman, Lily Singh, had also done a video at exactly like right at the same time of like why girls take so long to get ready. So it's a kind of like click through thing of like a massive YouTuber does something. Then if you do the same thing, you appear in the suggested bit. So if like, yeah, like a few million people watch her video, it might get suggested half a percent of the time. And even that is like, <laughs> those big numbers. Oh, and there it is, right in the middle. It's my off to Hogwarts video that like literally a quarter of my subscribers subscribed to me for. And I'm like, oh, you subscribed like four years too late for that kind of content. Great. Even though I reckon at the time had that video, like cause obviously what confuses me is like, that video isn't any different today than it was when I made it. So like, why are people watching it now or didn't watch it at the time? It's this really weird, like, I'm like, what? Why? Why am I now worth subscribing to for that video but I wasn't four years ago, five years ago? A long ass time ago. Hmm. So I feel like there's things like a lot of people who've subscribed to me subscribe for that and then they're now like, oh. You don't, you don't make those videos. No, because I'm almost finishing my degree. I graduate this year. I'm not gonna make boarding school videos. Ah. Oh, and then my dorm room tour. It's always done well. Room tours have done well. I will do a room tour of this room. I basically have finished it, like to my, to my licking, but I have on the back of this wardrobe, I stick pictures and I took pictures down because they were like a couple years old. So I need to print new ones and stick them. Then I will do a room tour. I promise. But like, I've always liked doing vlogs. I've always liked trying to do like more original videos. And then eventually after, 
yikes, years. I, I mean, I started changing it up a bit when I started doing more vlogs. The one thing that's kind of like shocked me is like how my travel vlogs have been like received in the space of like, the space of about a year. It honestly went from like 100, like 400 people watching a travel vlog to like thousands of people watching my travel vlogs. But usually they're not people who would normally subscribe to me. So it's like how in like a year has that changed? It's oh, in the algorithm. It's kind of like freaking algorithm. And it was now around, it's around what? This is like 2015, around three years ago that I did start changing up my aesthetic a little bit more. And then it is so much more me. Period. To any daughters I may have, 18, why I started YouTube? Oh, that's Chris! <laughs> He's so cute. Oh god, poor thing. We've both had quite a glow up. I think he wins through and through. And here it is, the change of my channel aesthetic, like mid 2015, because I realised like having all that pink kind of vibe was probably alienating any male audience that I really had. So I was like, you know, let's tone down that aspect of my channel because, you know, it doesn't all need to be pink, Emma, it can be pastels too, you know. And that's that did the weekly vlog. I love my freaking weekly vlog. I think that's really one of the best changes I've made in my YouTube. I think also like late 2015, like mid, yeah, mid 2015, kind of 2016, was like a massive like weird like watershed moment for me. It was like, I, I stopped trying to be funny because I think a lot of my channel, like I basically was making a lot of sketches, I was making a lot of vlogs and I was just trying desperately. It's almost like my little thing, because like, YouTube is a massive popularity contest, if you haven't noticed. So I was just kind of that like, because I've never like socially been that popular as it is. And I definitely think YouTube helped alienate that a little bit. Great, Emma's done really well to, but it was just a nice watershed moment of me because I was like, I'm done with trying to be like this and you know I was trying to make more thought provoking videos trying to be a bit more artistic and like using that creative license I have it's also one of the reasons I made the my student lookbook was because I'm like look guys remember that I'm like this I am this kind of person if you haven't ever did if you didn't know I have a film channel I want to make films it's down there it's down there it's all linked on there for you it's a nice watershed moment of like also in terms of like identity because I'm like it's okay to just be me. None of my videos have ever not been me. Like, especially my vlogs, I think they've always been a very good reflection of who I actually am. I hope so anyways. Yeah, sometimes I might be a bit more toned down, sometimes I might be a little bit more turned up, but it's generally, I've never tried to fake who I am. Probably has hampered me in the like, sub-like department, but you know what? Fuck that. My vlog, I'm so happy that I started my weekly. Like, it's so important to me and I think having vlogged now it does change you as a filmmaker especially because it's like you pick up your camera every day it's like you know you get to work every day and you just sort of find the ways in which you can tell a story the ways in which even the most simple story of just like this is me having breakfast because if you can't tell your own story very well how do you expect to tell other people's stories or every imaginary stories like how can you you just really need that experience and like She's got a lot of experience. I made like a couple sketchy videos, like sketch videos, not sketchy videos. <laughs> um, but then I made my very dramatic, my like I quit video. Um, and the point of my video was like, I quit the aesthetic that I've been going for. I quit the vibe, I quit all of that. I just, you know, I'm gonna do my thing now. And I must say it's been working quite well for me. I mean, I started my little series of let's talk about, mm -mm, but then I kind of turned into my channel as it was. So I was like, okay, well I've abandoned that like a little video project because that just is my freaking channel now. Like I was gonna talk about like relationships, sex, sexuality, blah. I've done that anyway. <laughs> that is my channel. And then the vlog just kept stepping up, kept you know, refining my aesthetic, having a good time. Even though actually at this point, I was like using my vlog as like almost like weird, like catharsis. It was very cathartic for me because I was having a shit time. So I really enjoyed throwing myself into my vlog even though I wouldn't make as many sit down videos, but it meant that I always had something to put up, which is very like a very fulfilling feeling. Because I would like looking depressed at this point. That was fun. Oh, I feel like my vlog was really important for me. The last two years, I'd say, is like how I've really liked my channel. I always have, obviously, but like, I've really, really liked it. Oh, and then I cut my hair off. That was fun. Oh, vlog season two. Vlog season two, I was very happy with. I still owe you and myself one vlog video, one New York. Sorry, it's been from October, literally from September and October. I've, I've been busy. Third year of university is intense, okay? I'm like, even though it's like six contact hours, I'm like, La, I just submitted three essays that are worth a quarter of my degree. And my dad and I figured out the minimum mark I need on everything in order to graduate with the first, and it's crushed my soul into a million pieces. So I'm like, 
<laughs> that was really fun. And then I changed my channel name. That's another massive thing that I guess I did. How long have I been Emma Angelina, not Sarcastic Fish? A long time. The mainstream videos I did were much more like me because like I'm not someone who does favorites. I'm not someone who does haul videos. They were so big, 2014 and stuff, but that just never was my channel and I was just the right age for it. And I just think me maturing has been really important in my YouTube. When I started my channel, if you were like 12, you started watching me, you are now 18. It's just been like, weird especially seeing the shift in the age of my audience because like especially when i was making sketch and all that kind of stuff blah, blah, blah. yeah well my videos didn't really have any kind of like intelligent or emotive substance like then you guys were a lot younger but it's just funny seeing my shift my main demographic is 18 to 24 then it's 25 to 30 something and then it's 13 to 17. Ooh, how you have changed <laughs> how we have changed from that point on my channel was very me and i've just grown into like especially like more uni stuff which I think is at the time when I boarded I never made any content regarding that because obviously boarding schools are very like I just never thought it would be very good to make a video about it and then have people talk about that to me because it wasn't just about me if that makes sense so I'm happy I never did that even though then people were like oh we love this video I'm like well you know what it's too late now but also I'm doing more uni stuff because like you don't know where I go to uni. My uni doesn't even know where I go to uni. It doesn't make a difference. Like, nobody gives a shit, which is quite nice. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But then it's stressful whenever so in the module they'd be like, tell us a fun fact about you. And I'm like, don't say you have a YouTube channel. Don't say you have a YouTube channel. Because I'm weirdly private in person. <laughs> like, I can't understand this. Like, at work, like, I don't like to talk about private life things. Like, at uni, with people I don't really know well, I don't like it. Like, I just don't. Because people have so much access to my life as it is. I don't like when people in my personal life that I don't, that, unless I know them really well, like, essentially watch my videos. Because then I feel like you know so much more about me than I know about you. And I feel like that's a weird imbalance. I'm like, it's strange on the internet. Fine. People I kind of know in real life. <laughs> the last year, I've been making videos that I wanted to make seeing that you guys like them too, it's just like dialogue and it's just been really really fun and like it's the reason I want to like check a lot more like what do you guys want to see because I want to know that it coincides with what I want to make and then when I see something like I really want to make, you really want to watch, I'm like yeah let's do this. So my channel has been through a lot, I think the last few years has been very nice and I've really enjoyed it. And it's the one thing I never stopped doing because it's my life and film making, even though this is just a YouTube video, film is still everything I want to do. But you know YouTube is an interesting way of like, it's kind of a business side to it as well, like I have to strategize, I have to respond to the data, I need to you know make a plan, I need to market, I need to just it's like a little mini cosmic, little mini universe of the big thing that I want to do. Um, so big that my hands are no longer on screen. <laughs> my channel is six, that's still doing this. Can I, I'm gonna be doing this next year? Probably. The year after that though, that's after I graduate because I'm doing, I want to do a master's degree, but I'm like, I don't know anymore. I don't know what the future of this channel is past the next year and a half, which is scary, so just have to see, won't we? But yeah, let me know what the first video of mine you ever watched was, how long you've been watching, you know, because I just love knowing that because I know a lot of you might watch my videos but never comment, so I'm like, just like, if you ever, if you know, if you're one of those people who just like watch and never comment, just this time. Let me know, like, what have you got, was the first thing you ever watched? I guess that is it, six years old. Wow. Like, subscribe and all my jazz. One thing that's not changed is that like, subscribe and all my jazz. I don't have another reflex. Like, subscribe and all my jazz. And I will see you guys on Thursday, I believe. Bye. Also, my kissy thing has never changed, has it? She can be consistent. She needs to stop talking about herself as a third person. <laughs>